arms of someone gently wrap me at my chamber door. Tis some visitor I mutter, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember brought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wish the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books a cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost land. Uncertain, rustling of each purple curtain, thrill me, fill me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now to still the beating from my heart, I stood repeating, tis some visitor in at my chamber door Some late visitor entreating Entrance at my chamber door This it is and nothing more Presently my soul grew stronger Hesitating then no so said I, O oh, madam, truly, your forgiveness I implore. But the fact is, I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. And I scarce was sure. I heard you here, I opened wide the door, darkness there and nothing more. Deep into the darkness, fearing, long I stood there wandering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before but the silence was unbroken and the stillness gave no token and the only word there spoken was the whispered word Lenore this I whispered and in echo murmured back the word Lenore Really this and nothing more Back into the chamber journey All my soul within me burning Soon again I heard a tapping Somewhat louder than Made he not a minister.
stayed he, but with me, no lord or lady, perched up of my chamber door, perched up on a bust of palace, just above my chamber door, perched and sad and nothing. My sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenanced war. Oh, thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, I show no craven, ghastly, grim, and ancient raven. Wandering from the nightly shore Tell me what thy lordly name is On the night's Plutonian shore Both the raven nevermore Much I marvel this ungainly foul to so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his The sculpture bust above his chamber door with such name as nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bus spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour Nothing farther than he uttered Not a feather than he fluttered Till I scarcely more than muttered Other friends have flown before On the morrow he will leave me As my hopes have flown and never more. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so happily spoken, doubtless said I what it utters is its only stock and store. Caught from some unhappy master Whom unmerciful disaster Followed fast and followed faster Till his songs one burden bore Till the dirges of his hope that Melancholy burden bore never, never Still beguiling all my fancy into smiling Straight I wield a cushion seat In front of bird and bust and door Then upon the velvet sinking I betook myself to linking Fancy unto fancy what this ominous bird of yore What this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt and ominous bird of yore Minted, croaking, nevermore This I sat engaged in guessing But no syllable to the fowl whose fiery eyes 
now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining with my head at ease reclining on the cushions with lining that the lamplight clothed o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er she shall press on nevermore. Perfume from an unseen censer Swung by seraphim Whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor Wretch, I cry, thy God hath lent thee By these angels he hath sent thee Respite, respite, and nepenthe From thy memories of the Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forgive this lost Lenore, both the grave and nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet, still if bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate yet all undaunted on this desert land, enchanted on this home by horror haunted. Tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me. Thing of evil, prophet, still if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aiden, it shall clasp a saint. Shall we live, said never? 